Exit almost in sight. Um, a monster? Ah, Hassan has ordered me to kill you! Hassan, die! Oh joy, it's dark eyed. This is that guy actually I was talking about that I was expecting to have darkness elemental weak. Crap. Whatever. Anyway, time to start. Anyway, this is Dark Iron. He's obviously a dark elemental. He has about 2,000 hit points. And he is not really that tough at all. You just basically keep on keep light damaging him as much as you can with anyone you can. You probably won't be able to with Sork or um but you really want to save uh, Lolo's H and uh, Lolo's MP for uh casting. You know, casting uh healing. So that's why I'm just having Lolo do regular attacks since he's pretty decently strong. Due to the fact he's wielding a bow. Anyway, it's a decent enough strategy. He's not that tough. Just basically, just make sure when before you fight, before you reach the spot that you have um, darkness defense on everyone, and you'll find this battle will be stupid easy. I'm surprised he isn't using his other spell. I know he has one. I know he has two mantras and a, an actual physical attack. <laughs> Poor Lolo, he's he loses out on everything. Oh shit, there went the bridge. Won't be able to cross. He's crying over spilt milk, let's go! Legend, shut your mouth. What? I was being serious! Legend! God damn it, I never get to have any fun. Sora, kill Legend, please. Gotcha. <laughs> Actually, the one I think the um, the attack you can make that I think is the silliest is that. Yeah, he somehow shot himself. I'm not gonna ask how he shot himself when he had the gun pointing away from him. I'm not gonna ask RP. I know, I know better. RPG logic, shut the hell up. Easy monsters. Anyway, dark time again. And we gotta go back to the lab, which is way across a big desert. Anyway, let's get to that. Yeah, we might want to. Let's see. Oh, yeah. can also go in here, but we really don't need to, I believe. There's basically nothing there. S stupid easy monsters. Oh yeah, we can do this dungeon now. This is kind of like a completely optional area, just like the, uh, those little, those little, uh, power lizards that gave me that light sword. That area was completely optional, but, um, this area is also optional, but the main point of it is it will, uh... It'll give you, like, some special gear you're tailored to each party. I think I just need to... I think I just need to hit him with a spell, not, you know, like, a specific spell. So, zappy zappy! Yeah, those things have insane defense, but their magic... De but their uh, mantra defense is basically non-existent, so just nail him with a spell and watch him die. Anyway, time to find an fight another boss. Jade, what? You are the lowest of race, you shall pay! Like I said, oh no, it's Fire Lizard again. Whatever should I do? Oh wait, I know. Let's cast half fire, and then let's start pelting with water. Or, in this case, ice. Ha! 
<laughs> you miss. You fail. You fail like Raikou does on a daily basis. I'm, s I'm serious. Raikou basically just gets wakes up, he falls out of his bed, failed. Then he goes to go, like, you know, make himself some breakfast. And he accidentally burns himself. Fail. And how do I know all this? Well, Raikou, you never remembered to take down those secret, those hidden cameras I had placed. It's not my fault he's blind. Anyway, he's starting to die. Oh yeah, I forgot. Lolo's equipped with a fire weapon. That's why he's not doing a lot of damage. I think everyone else is in the same... A couple of the other characters are in the same condition. Yeah, actually, I think our both of our back row people are wielding fire weapons. This is really good music. It's just it takes a while to get to the good part of the music. Ow! God, if Scion was here, he would have wanted to steal your sword. But then again, he was here, and he apparently didn't like your sword, because he had a shinier sword. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm always making fun of Scion, basically calling him this game's 8-bit theater fighter. And I know I'm not talking much about the battle, but the battle's boring. There's nothing going on. We're just... He's trying to kill us, failing miserably. I'm getting rid of my squeaky chair because I really don't like that damn thing. And we're kicking his ass. See? We just froze a fire lizard. We're that awesome that we can freeze things that are made out of fire. Ritter shall destroy you! Ah! Barf! Anyway, we can go in this door, get a moon ring. You know what? I don't like you. Damn it. Let me run away. Thank you. Anyway, I believe this one is always empty because, um, uh, crap, what was the name? Because Dune basically goes and visits that one. This one, I think, is also open. I think that one is also always open. I don't remember. Either that, or that's the original reward for those three scaling up there. You know, if you've somehow managed to climb all the way up here without having the rooter yet... Which I kind of commend you because that doing that is very difficult. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. <sighs> but I will make one quick recommendation. You are definitely, definitely going to want to craft a certain mantra for the next boss fight. Okulari. gives gives It uh, gives float stats to anyone it hits. You are definitely going to want that, and unfortunately, you're also going to want to hit yourself with it. And to make sure to do that, you have to make sure you don't have any win anybody who has wind protection. I would also say no, you know, also nobody with um uh, light uh, with lightning protection, because that'll just make the spell hurt like hell. And last time I checked, that's a bad thing. Uh, oy. Yeah, I was right. Both of them had fire gear, which is why they were doing so terrible. Anyway, yeah, when I get back, I'm going to the desert. And I'll leave you with victory scene. See ya.